morning, Deltona. My name is Glenn Whitcomb. I'm the interim city manager here at the city of Deltona. I would like to invite everyone to view this month's edition of the city manager's report. I would like to also thank the commission, the mayor, city staff, and the residents for everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis here in the city of Deltona. Good morning, Phyllis Wallace for the City of Deltona. I'm here at the 4B Project, and I wanted to bring our residents and the community up to speed on where we are with the project. The city has made the determination to close out the project, and as part of that closeout, we are working on a restoration plan, which includes full restoration of the boat ramp behind me, as well as reopening up of the boat and trailer parking. And in addition, we'll be doing some heavy landscaping out here so that we can restore this to a nice vegetative state um, that is complementary to the existing landscaping out here. So keep, uh, keep watching the City of Deltona for further updates and we will keep you posted on the development. Hi, my name is Marion Laracy. I'm with the Code Compliance Division. I'm one of the supervisors. Myself and another supervisor will be attending training in reference to uh, learning policies and procedures during natural disasters for their animal control department. Um, we'll also learn how to prepare and operate an animal shelter during natural disasters. Hi, my name is Julie. I'm the city of Deltona's MS4 inspector. Um, one of my many duties in stormwater is to collect water samples when we are releasing stormwater from the Teresa Basin. Um, today I will collect a sample here at Lake Bethel. So today I have three bottles. I'm going to take samples and do um, the first bottle we're going to collect. It's just a grab sample and we're going to take it right here at the outfall. And I'll do that here. I'll go ahead and run that through the filter. And that right now, so it's getting it's filtering the whole thing so you get the most accurate readings on the water? Exactly. So we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the water through the filter and there are different tests that the lab will run. So we'll go ahead and fill this up here. And they'll be placed in the um, cooler on ice and then we'll send it out to the lab for the lab to take. But as long as the um, outfall is open and the water is uh, being drained from the um, different uh, the basin, from the Teresa Basin, and it's open, uh, we do take a sample every week. Hi, I'm Catherine with the City of Daytona Communications Department. It's funny because the interim city manager is always joking with us about getting in front of the camera because we're always asking other departments to tell the community what's going on. So now it's our turn to tell the residents of Deltona what we've, been, what we've been up to. One of the things is just improving DTV. Joining the 21st century, our production manager, Gary Daniels, has really taken the point and is really making a lot of improvements around here. In our control room here that's connected to Deltona City Hall Chambers, we're updating to an HD signal. You can now watch meetings live not only on Spectrum uh, Channel 491, but you can now watch on Facebook and YouTube as well. And those are HD signals, so that's fantastic. One of our lower tech things that we're doing is City Manager Report. We release this on City Commission days. We also post it online, so there's a lot of great information in the City Manager Report, what the different departments are up to. So if you haven't taken a look at this, do do that. This is the other big project that we're working on that we're really excited about. This is an actual television studio inside Deltona City Hall. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's a work in progress right now, but we actually have a green screen over here like you would see in a television studio. You have the backdrop with the lights. We have some studio chairs over there, not fully unpacked yet, so you can see that it is a work in progress. So we're really excited about this because this is going to be a space where we can create content to really let the residents know what's going on in this city. Something else that we're working on unrelated to the TV studio is a, a newsletter. This is going to go out in Deltona water bills. Hopefully it's gonna start in November for the first billing cycle. And it's just gonna be some information about the city What's, again, what's going on, uh, events that are going on, 
news from the city. So keep an eye out for that if you're on Deltona water and you get your bill in the mail. All right, we want to talk a little bit about some Halloween safety tips uh, as we come up to Halloween in the next week. So first we want to talk about costumes. So make sure your children have preferably light colored clothes, um, bright colored clothes. Um, if the costume doesn't fit that, then try to make sure they have reflective, if at all possible. Um, use flashlights, use um, glow sticks, anything like that that helps them be seen um, is a great tip and a great um, way to ensure safety. Now that the kids are out and about, ensure that if they go out without your direct supervision, that they go out with groups and they stay together as a group. And remember, never enter a home or a car to get candy. If you're taking your children out and about to a nice neighborhood where your family or friends live, remember to be um, extra cautious when it comes to driving. Make sure that your lights are on early. Make sure that you keep watch for kids that come out that may have dark clothing on. Make sure when you park, you're parked in a good spot, you're not on soft ground, right? And you're not obstructing a driveway that any children have to walk around. Last but not least, when your kids get the candy and they bring it home, Ensure that we always try to stay away from home baked goods or candy that's unwrapped or not in a sealed or commercially packaged. Um, these are great tips to keep you and the kids safe so they have a great and enjoyable time this Halloween. Thank you.